Hello and welcome back to the 2016 America Winters Championship. My name is Sarjarama and I'm going to be bringing you this game of five of a best of five series between our two competitors today, Zin Style and Puffin. If you're just joining us in this broadcast, a little background on these two people. Puffin, you probably know him from his recent win in the Innkeeper Showdown Tournament, and he's looking to continue his winning streak today. Whereas Zin Stao was once thought to be a very dominant force in the Hearthstone competitive scene, but he hasn't seen a win in over a year. He's hoping to change that today, but it's not going to be easy against his competitor Puffin. We've seen some great matches today, and we're hoping to see an even better one here in the semifinals game. Yes, the winner of this match is going into the grand finals of the America Winters Championship, and it is going to be a very good game indeed. Looks like the game's just now starting up, so let's go ahead and get into the action, shall we? It looks like Zin Style's going to be bringing his Tempo Mage into the mix against Puffin's Oil Rogue. Alright, good start for Zin Style here with tons of different one-drop minions, not to mention the fact that two of them are Mana Worms that can combo very well with all the spells in his hand. Looks like he's just going to opt in for just one Mana Worm, which is not too bad. Let's see what Puffin reacts with. Just going to pull out some daggers, nothing nothing crazy Winter there. Vale. Oh look, look at the Winter Veil vale spirit happening between these two fine competitors. Ooh, the Sorcerer's Apprentice is going to set Zin Style up for some really good combos, making all of his spells cost one mana less, which could do some really good damage against Puffin if he plays his cards right. No pun intended. <laughs> Let's see what he's going to do here. He's thinking about using that coin, but there's no real reason to. He could drop the Mana Worm for extra value with all his cards, but that would pretty much just empty his hand. It's always good to keep more options in your hand than not. Because as you can see, Puffin's just going to eviscerate his Mana Worm anyway, so there was no point in throwing it out there. Puffin's actually going to clear Zinstyle's board completely with his nice combos there. Looks like Zinstyle's thinking about doing an Arcane Blast. I'm assuming he's going to hit the SI7 Agent here. That's exactly what he's going to do, and hoping to get that SI off with the Arcane Missiles, and... Well, there it goes. Perfect. How's well, Puffin going to react here? He's got that oil in his hand, which could take out the Mana Worm. However, he can't combo it as of now into a minion. One, he doesn't have a minion on the board. Two, you have to play a card beforehand, and he has no zero mana cost cards in his hand. Looks like his best bet is to just hmm. drop the oil anyway and take out that Mana Worm, because if he doesn't, Zen Style is going to have some good combos with the spells in his hand right now. Just waiting. The fun of Hearthstone is just sitting here and waiting and seeing what your opponent's going to do. Looks like he is going to opt in for that oil to just go ahead and take that Mana Worm out of the fight so it doesn't grow anymore. And it's a good thing he did that because with that mirror image coming out, he would have been very well protected behind a wall of Jaina lookalikes. Which I guess is the reason. This honestly should be Medivh's if he's playing Medivh, but that's something for a different time. Uh oh, with that mirror image, he's got, not mirror image, mirror entity, he's going to be popping the sledge belcher up on his side, which is pretty good with that, I guess you could say impressive taunt well, especially with the Archmage Antonitis. If he had one more mana, he could drop that coin down and then get the Archmage out right now, but it doesn't look like he could do that. He is going to clear Puffin's side of the board, leaving him with an impressive taunt wall to Puffin's... Well, his four dagger, that's about it. Which could take out the Slulcher Belcher if he likes. Also, he's just going to go ahead and drop that Azure Drake, which is not a bad idea. It's going to give some card draw, going to get him some spell damage. Pretty good idea. Alright, looks like he's going to sacrifice his dagger to take on the Sludge Belcher head on. Got an unstable portal coming out from Zen Style. Any card in the game, well, any minion in the game, could come from that. And it looks like Zen Style got himself a Kel'Thuzad. <laughs> Pretty dang good, if you ask me. With the fact that Kel'Thuzad brings all your minions back from the dead at the end of your turn. Or the end of your opponent's turn. So if he can get that out on the field, protected, it's going to do some good work for him. How? 
However, the rogue does have a sap in his hand, which goes past taunt walls, so may not be the greatest in the long run. But let's see what happens here. If he could drop it and keep those mirror images up, that'd be a pretty good idea, but like I said, the sap could easily just, you know, nullify the Kel'Thuzad anyway. So it looks like he's going for the Azure Drake. It's a smarter play. However, he can't use any of his spells right now because of the Lotheb out on the field. Let's see what Puffin's going to do. He has a lot of good car characters in his hand. The Sprint, one of the quintessential cards of the Oil Rogue, meaning that that's where he gets all his card draw from so he can do all his combos. Looks like with a pretty slow turn right here, he's going to drop the Sprint just to get that those options in his hand for the next time. Ooh, a Dr. Boom. Always good. Another Blade Fury there. And a backstab and a backstab. So he has a lot of good damage to do behind the enemy lines, which is pretty good. Looks like he's going to Deadly Poison here. Get his dagger up and running. And it looks like he's just going to wipe Zen Style's board, which honestly isn't a bad idea. Board control is very important against a Tempo Mage. Essentially because the Tempo Mage is trying to out-tempo you, so if you're keeping up with the tempo of the Tempo Mage, then that's pretty good. Um, it looks like he's going to try to keep the Kel'Thuzad on the field with the Counterspell from the way he was looking at his cards there. Or he's just going to drop the Kel'Thuzad and just hope it stays alive. Not the smartest idea against a rogue who has tons of different ways to just blow your characters up, but... And it looks like he's just going to opt to sap it back into Zen Style's hand. Not a bad idea. Just base damage there, nothing big. Once again, Puffin is left with minions on the field, whereas Zen Style is trying to catch up. Which is not the greatest thing for a Tempo Mage. He should be ahead of his opponent, not playing the catch-up game here. But those two fireballs coming out of the Archmage Antonitis should help him a little bit. Or a lot, if he plays his cards right, like I said earlier. But once again, Puffin just has so much removal in his hand that it's going to be hard for Zen Style to actually keep just a minion on the field, especially even behind a taunt wall. All of Puffin's things can go past taunt walls, provided they aren't the minions. Especially with that Blood Mage Thalnos coming out, all of his spells are going to have one more spell damage. Luckily, Zen Style prepped for that with a counter spell. However, he didn't prep for Puffin having a second backstab in his hand. And it looks like Archmage Antonitis is not going to live through this turn. Because he could easily just eviscerate him, but it looks like he's going to Blade Fury instead. Blade Flurry? I've been saying Blade Fury this entire time, and I'm very sorry, everyone. And then just looks like some dedicated face damage there. It's not looking too good for Zen Style here. He has a lot of good damage and abilities in his hand, but honestly, to what the board Puffin has and what Puffin has in his hand, he's just... I don't know if he can do it, even with that mirror image. Looks like he's hoping here to get some lucky fire blasts off of that flame guy. He is reducing the opponent's board, but don't think it's going to save him. Ooh, had he hit the other one, I think it would have been okay. Because then he wouldn't have had any Acolytes out and it would have been good. But then again, Puffin just has... Puffin's going to drop the Dr. Boom and I think call it a day. If that Dr. Boom, if those bombs blow up, they can easily just hit Medivh in the face and just knock him out of the game. I am ready to Not to learn. mention the constant acolytes coming out of the violent teacher here. I am ready to learn. Looks like his shield wall is going down as we speak. And now he's just left once again with absolutely nothing on the field, and it doesn't look you like. Want it? Hopefully, I hopefully we can get a good spell from this, and I don't think Cone of Cold's going to save him here. I don't think. Maybe with some lucky bomb drops, but not with the bomb going to nothing, his face. Nothing can stop me. Nothing. I got a bad feeling Zen Style is going to lose this game, and that would mean that Puffin is going to be going to the grand finals of the America Winters Championship here. 
And as you can see, he's doing some cheeky little plays and just dropping every single card he had in his hand. Doesn't seem like Zinstai wants to give this up without a fight, but he's gonna have to because that is GG. Puffin is headed to the Grand Finals here at the America Winters Championship. I hope you enjoyed the game. My name has been Sarge Rama, also known as Derek Shepard if you want to know my actual name. And thank you for watching. Thank y'all so much for just this opportunity to attempt to cast and learn how to cast. It would be a complete honor to be able to do this for y'all as a career or a job or even just as a hobby. I've loved y'all's games ever since I started playing World of Warcraft back when I was around 12 years old. I honestly have been applying for job positions at Blizzard in my past semester of college and in my last semester I'm going into now. And I just love y'all. I love what you do. And I hope you loved me in this video. And I hope to hear back from y'all soon. And also, there's nothing more fun than a video with a blooper reel. Play it! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to game five of... Oh, well, this was bad. Let's just keep rocking it. Um, we have a, had a great experience today. Nope. Puffin just recently won the Innkeeper Showdown Tournament, and, well, he's looking to bring another home, another win. This is the... Darn it, it was so good, and then I could forgot what I was talking my name is Sarge Rama, and I'm going to be casting the fire. Oh, I was Zin style, however, is not as dominant in the Hearthstone theme. God, we still need to attempt to cast and learn how. My name is Sarge Rama, and we are about to go into the fifth game of five for the five fifth 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 thingy with the games and the five semester of college and in my learner of this game is going to the grand finals where they will meet Archmage Cat I didn't I walked into something I didn't know who else was playing the game and it's all fan fiction and such need to know a little background on these two heroes not play and had a great experience we are in the fifth Game of Five series, fun of a bitch. We're in Game Five of a Best of Five series. This both stuff. Damn it! Welcome back. Hello and welcome back to the 2016 America Winters Championship. <laughs> Dang it! No. Hello and welcome back to this year's Dance Dance Central Tournament of fun. However, he's going to be going up against Puffin's Oil Rogue, which has won him the last two games after his wonderful finish with his Balagos Warlock and his... Oh, son of... I read the wrong one. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> My name is Sarge Rama, and I'm going to be bringing in you into this... No, just... Welcome back to the... Ugh, brain fart. Oh my god. The thing about Kel'Thuzad is when you play him... If he's keep kept alive till the end of the turn, anything that died in that turn comes back to life. However, thing I'm saying is just being null and voided because he just got sapped and sent back to the hand. Yeah. Look what I got. Thanks. Not that I was doing something, but that's okay. Why not? I don't know if that one works on this. It's a different game. What are you doing? It had a.